Okay, moving the mic a little bit. Alright, how's it going guys? Connor just here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Reborn, and I got some shit to tell you guys, because I did a lot of shit off screen. So first off, uh, let's look at the team, because I did a shit ton of leveling up. So as you can see here, sound wave level 36. Uh, I don't think you learned anything new. Creeper 36. Reaper 37. For 20, I got him 39, but I leveled him back to 38 because obviously the full cap is 40 and I don't want him to get to 42 quickly. But I leveled up to 39 because he learned Toxic, and now we're actually going to be evolving him. Before we do that, we got Slick evolved. Yeah, so this motherfucker, I was not playing another second without him being at least evolved. Because Jesus Christ, he's terrible not evolved. So uh, yeah, Slick. Uh, I got him level 39 where he evolved, and I again leveled him back to 38. Didn't learn anything new though. Uh, give him the zap plate because another thing I did, I'll actually tell you guys later. But anyways, uh, so the first thing I'm going to tell you guys about is the library area that's over there in the forest. I'm not going over there because it's too much work. But uh, yeah, I went over there, I cleaned up a bunch of shit, and they ended up giving me a goth gothita. I think it, that's the baby one, the gothita. Uh, it also gave me like, what was it? I think it was like a lit candle. I don't know what it does, but I have it. Soul candle right there. So I have that soul candle. So that was the first thing I did off screen. So what I basically did was I just went through like areas I've been through before and just kind of checked to see if there's anything new that was going down. Okay, I clicked the wrong button. Soundwave's not gonna evolve. Uh I don't know what the hell was going on there. Anyway, Soundwave's not evolving till 49, so there's no reason to like go ham on his leveling up right now. Uh, the next thing we did, if we go back up, mother, f I'm on the stairs. What the fuck? Can I just step on this thing while I'm walking down the or walking up the stairs, whatever direction I'm going? Jesus, can I just step on the thing? Anyways, uh, the next thing we did was we went over here, over here. What is that? It looks weird. Those are colorful things out there. Anyways, all the way over here, we went down into this cave. Because we got Rock Smash. Uh, yeah, I, well, as you can see, I broke all the rocks. And I got a lot of shit that I sold or still have on me. That's how I got the Zap Stone. Uh, but you can see here, I got, like, a Link Stone, Dome Fossil, Helix Fossil, Rock Incense, Sea Incense, shit like that. Uh, there's also a Krogan King here, which I didn't grab, obviously. And also, there's, like, a secret area where you can fight a 57 Bear Tick. And if you fight it, you get, like, a Smoochum. So I did end up fighting him for the XP. I just used Reaper and um, I used Reaper and uh, Parish Song because the first move you went for was Hail for some reason. Uh, so yeah, so I fought a 57 Bear Tick down there. I got a good amount of leveling off that. And after that, hmm, is there anything else I did? Hmm, let me go check. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because we're supposed to go up here to the cemetery to meet what's his face. I forgot his name. I don't remember his name, but what's his face? We went up here. Actually, did we go? I think we went in here. I'm not sure if I did this on screen either, but we got like a silver ring from this area over here. So that was a thing. And then the last thing we did off screen was we went over here because I wanted to see exactly where he was at. Yeah, up there. We went to that cave up there. And again, broke a whole bunch of shit, got a whole bunch of items. I don't think we caught any Pokemon or saw any Pokemon. Oh, yeah, we did. There was a neat arena in there. I think it was Cory's neat arena too. So uh, yeah, we caught a neat arena inside there. So I think that's it. It was mostly just item collecting, leveling up, and, cat and getting Pokemon that I'm never going to use because I already have my team set up. So uh, yeah, anyways, with that all being said, guys, let's go ahead and continue on with the story. I don't think I checked anything over here. Oh, Pokemon could be inside. Maybe we could shake it. Check all of these real quick. What the fuck? I can walk on top of that one. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Okay. Go back up. There he is. Oh, I found an elemental seed. Nice. What is he looking at? Hey Mark, didn't expect to see you here. Kane, that's his name. Fuck, okay, so his name was Kane. Something, something, something. What happened with the old poison leader? 
I mean, I know there's nothing anyone can do for him, but I heard he left behind a daughter, too. Rather that she ran away. I want to find her. That's a big thing, not having anyone to take care of you when you're so young. So how about you, Mark? What brings you here? You know, you don't have to stalk me. Oh, you want the key to the wasteland, too? Yeah. I should have thought as much. Uh, I'm not really a fan of her, though. She's all girl all the time. Whatever. I'll tell you what. Beat me and I'll give you the key. KK? Alright. Guess we're gonna fight Kane. Let's do this. I'll take the key. Easy. Brion. I guess that was the top of the found. Remember that. Okay. Uh, water, so let's go with 420. Please don't use ice attack. Okay. That's fine. Oh, I forgot to evolve 420. We'll do after this battle. But there's no real need, reason to keep him as a gloom anymore. He doesn't learn anything that I really need. I'd like grassy terrain, because that could help with the terrains and shit. But uh, he doesn't get that until 54, and I'm not keeping him as a gloom until 54. That's just too much. I'm not that desperate for it. Maybe we'll find like a TM or something. Or maybe uh, our electric. We'll learn it, whatever the thing is. Electros will learn it. Okay, what the fuck came out? Marowak? Oh shit, no, 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 I did not mean to use that. I did, I thought it was a regular Marowak. <laughs> oh shit. I legit thought it was just a regular Marowak. No, it's a lowland Marowak. Alright, well. That's interesting. Water Pledge. Nido King, that's ground. Good. Ow. I you do this to me. And. Grimmer. Okay, for some models. Oh shit, it's a Lola Grimmer. Fuck, damn it. <laughs> Why has it gotta be a Lola Grimmer? Ruined my entire plan. He has two Alolan mods. He's Alolan Marowak and Alolan Grimmer. I needed that you four. He has poison touch, really. I one shot of it's a Grimmer after all. I, you're kidding, right? It's a Grimer. A stab water pledge to a Grimer. Not a muck. A Grimer. It's just unfortunate. Are you fucking joking? I'm already getting pissed off, dude. I'm legit getting not happy right now. Huh. Oh well. Darn. I don't really like giving it out, but... Huh? Hey. When did you get there? Who? Oh shit, I didn't see her up there. What are you looking at? Heather, right? Uh, why do you know my name? My name's Kane. I heard some stuff happened and I was looking for you because I was worried. What, so you can place a bunch of stupid rules on me too? Don't bother. I can be I can be just fine all by myself. Hey no, I just wanted to be friends, see I shut up. I didn't ask for anything from you. I don't need anything. I think you need a friend. You're so annoying, I already have a friend. Oh, who's that? She's a gym leader, okay? Talking about Shelly. And she doesn't ask so many stupid questions. Hey, sorry, okay? Your friend's probably worried, so you should maybe go to her. Fine. If it'll get me away from you, I will. Salamence, let's go. It's takeoff time. I still don't know how this bitch got a Salamence. <laughs> huh, she's flying off towards Lapis Ward. She's on the road, far from home, but she doesn't have to feel alone. This motherfucker is singing. I'm just worried about her. I'm gonna go down to Lapis Ward. Gym leader there is Shelly, right? Don't you give me my key, you motherfucker! Don't make me chase you! How about the key? Sorry. I have to hurry before she flies somewhere else. Maybe. No, you. it's not hard to just drop it up. Just drop it on the ground, I'll pick it up. You motherfuck, dude. Yeah. What's so hard about dropping it on the ground while you're running after her? Jesus. It's gonna take you two seconds to drop it there. I'll fucking pick it up. 
you whore. Alright, before we do anything else, go ahead and evolve our Gloom with our trusty Leaf Stone. We should have a couple. Yeah. Boom. Hello, Vile Plume. Alright, with this, everybody should be... Well, no, not everybody. Uh, mostly everybody should be fully evolved. Uh, you evolved at 49, and I don't know how you evolve into your final stage. I'm not sure if I need a Thunderstone or if it's through level up still. I'll have to look that up. Anyways, so we gotta go all the way back to Lapis. Fantastic. So far away. God damn it. He didn't even have anything that could fly. And he had to, that means he had to run all this way just like me. Wait, did he have something that could fly? I don't think he did. The Grimer, Brion, the Marowak, and the uh, Nido King. Yeah, he didn't have anything that could fly, so he had to run this entire route just like me. The fuck? How the hell does he know she wouldn't have been gone by this point, dude? It's a long ass route. Gotta go through like one, two, three different wards, four different wards to get there. Ah. Uh, anyways. Actually, hold on. Before I go over there, do, am I running low on lemonades? If I can grab some while I'm here. 23? I think I should grab a little more. Grab some every time I come by here, because it's the only place that sells them, at least that I know of so far. So if I go on long journeys, I'm gonna have to come all the way back just to grab some lemonade. I have 15 grand, dude. That's a shit ton of money. Alright, that should be enough for, for a while, 50. Alright, let's go to the Lapis War and see what's going down. keep following me I just want to be left alone hey hey I just don't think it's good for you to be alone right now she's not alone she's with Shelly what the fuck are you talking about Kane I am um, I kind of agree with him I mean I'm really work hey don't take his side I'm sorry I didn't mean to you've been through a lot you're hurt and confused and scared and I get it it's okay I've been there too but but nothing you don't know me shut up look you said I need a friend right well here she is you're my friend right Shelly yeah, of course. You're my only friend, after all. See? Is that good enough for you? Then go away. Shelly, tell him to go away. Tell him to get the fuck out. <laughs> um, ah, uh, um, sorry, Mark, but, um, Heather says that, um, you guys should, uh, she says you should, um, leave. You know, Heather, most friends don't boss each other around like that. Don't tell me what to do. I've had enough of that. I'm not. I'm just saying, Shelly seems a little scared when you yell at her. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's crying. <laughs> Shelly, would you like her to be nicer to you? Um, yeah, I guess. Sorry. I wasn't doing anything. Ah, whatever. You're all just ganging up on me. I'm leaving. Don't try to stop me. <laughs> we did, I love how we just didn't try to stop her either. <laughs> we just let her run right by. <laughs> Shelly, Mark, quickly. She's only going to keep hurting herself like this. Then why'd you move out of the way? <laughs> you were standing right in front of the stairs. Ah, um, but wait for me. God damn it. People are all useless. Where the hell did they go? Just want to make sure I go through every place to make sure I don't miss them. What the fuck are you doing here? Why are you blocking off that direction, you fucking assholes? Jesus. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, would you like to get out of my way? That is absolutely no way to speak to your elders. I don't care. Just shut up and move. Ah, uh, you seem unusually animus, child. Haven't your parents taught you any manners? Hey, whoa there, geezer. Lay off the girl. Excuse me, I am not a geezer. I am a doctor. 
I've worked many hours for that title. In turn, I expect to be addressed appropriately. Fine then, back off, Dr. Yeezer. Puffed. What? Did I actually get her to laugh? Success! I wasn't laughing. I had something stuck in my throat. You had a giggle stuck in your throat. While I do hate to break up your giddy humor, I'm afraid I must. Little girl, where are your parents? I love how she, like, ran away and she didn't try to, like, just get away on her fucking, uh, salamence like she's done plenty of times before. <laughs> but I guess it's for story, right? <laughs> she does For story, she doesn't have a salamence. We'll just let her run straight down the street. Would you shut up about that? Um, doctor, her parents are, um, not here anymore. Is that so? Hmm. I see. So who is now your primary caregiver? No one. I don't need anyone. I'm all fine by myself. That means you too, freaky boy. Hey, hey. No guardian? How unfortunate. In that case, I may have a solution. You see, I, my, I myself run a service for the child of reborn, children of reborn. I give homes to those who have none. Food, shelter, even many friends. Just like yourself. Does that sound nice to you, Heather? I don't want anything from you. No need to be so rude. I'm offering you a home. I'm offering you everything you need to get your life back on track. Why do you resist? Because you're a creep. Damn. <laughs> no girl would ever want to be around you. Damn. I see. Well, I would say that you leave me little option. However, it is you who does not have a choice. Under Article 4, Section 9, Clause 3, we are legally responsible for the actions of all orphaned children in the city of Reborn. Wherein the status of an orphan is defined as one who has no known living parent or nor legal guardians willing and capable of providing care for the subject. Under Article 7, Section 2, Clause 2, we are granted the authority to adopt into custody any discovered orphan within the city limits. Provided he or she cannot produce legal documentation of guardianship in or outside of the municipal district. Orderly Caesar. Hey, no, not cool. Back off, Dr. Old Guy. <laughs> Get off me. Let me go right now. Take her. I love, I love how we just did nothing about it either. <laughs> three of us, three of them, we did nothing. We just stood here like, okay, all right, well, I guess you'll take her. I suggest you not interfere. Physical interruption to this procedure qualifies as personal assault and severe delinquency detrimental, detrimental to standard city functions and can and result in a criminal record and lawsuit against your name. I'm okay with that. Do have a good day. he got up his butt oh my god I just and she's going back jelly I guess I got to go back too. god damn it all right well she, she got captured by the good old doctor which means we got to go get her right I did it I had to open my big stupid mouth if I hadn't said anything you wouldn't have known that she was oh my god I'm sorry Hey, Shelly, don't blame yourself for what that creep does. He's his own demon. It's kind of my fault, too. I was the one who chased after her, who chased her out of here. She's gonna be so mad. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm such a bad friend. No, 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 no. You were there for her. That's what's important. Till the end. Motherfucker, forgot I had that set. Hold on. I always forget to turn off my fucking alarm when I don't need it anymore. God damn it. Uh, till the end I'll be with you. We'll go where our dreams come true. All the times that we've been through, you always been my be my best friend. Can this guy stop singing? I don't want to keep reading these shitty lyrics. What? But we just met a little bit ago. Details. Points the same. Here we are, a new adventure. Danger lurks somewhere in the darkness. Okay, I'm not reading these stupid fucking lyrics anymore. What do you mean, a team? Well, we can't just leave her with Dr. Butt now, can we? But if we do anything, won't we get in trouble? Yeah, you're right. We can maybe be arrested, put in jail, big trouble. But Heather's already in trouble, so I'm gonna take that chance. Yeah, I hope she's okay. What are you doing, you stupid creep? Let me go. Oh, God. The girl's completely out of control. Hold her down. Oh, God. Good, begin treatment at 100 volts. Okay, well, she's getting electrocuted. <laughs> Electroshock therapy. You'll never get away with this, you dirty old man. Make that 110. Find her as well. Jesus. Now, Heather, just hold still. Might feel a little shock. Jesus. Jesus! 
five. I. All right. Well, that's horrible. Did you guys hear something? How the hell did we hear it? It was literally a fucking the building all the way away, and we're in. Okay, whatever. Um, what was that, Heather? I think we should hurry. I'll meet you guys in front of the orphanage. We're gonna bust her out of there. Okay, I'm coming. I don't know how we heard that, but okay. You know, story purposes, I get it. Um, alright, yeah, but actually, before we go to go bust out Heather, we're actually gonna end the episode here, and we'll bust around the next episode, guys. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Spin Connorist. I'll see you guys this guy again. I'll see you guys next time, and, uh, yeah. Peace out.